Hey YouTube, what well, go on? Today we're gonna replace the oil and filter on this. So we're gonna do an oil change on this on the Civic. So if it's on the Civic look like this, it's gonna be the same procedure, no matter what year it is. So with that said, let's raise the vehicle up, get underneath it. One quick tip, you can just release the, the cap and it's gonna let the oil flow out a little bit um, easier or faster, whichever you wanna put it. And the oil it take is 020, it's stated on the cap. So guys, um, normally there's something would be right here, a service door, but um, we seem to missing that right there. But it normally brings some Phillips screw, just like this one right here. Just get a Phillips screwdriver. Right here, remove all the screws. One that go here, one go here, one go right here, one go there. And once you remove that, you can take down the service door. And then once you take down the service door, your engine gonna be up to your passenger front tire. So your right front tire will be your engine. It will be where your engine next to. The other side is gonna be the transmission on the driver's side. So your engine is over here. And then you're gonna have your oil filter in the front right here. And then you're gonna have your drain plug right here. And so it even have, let's say engine oil, it show you an arrow right here. So let's get into the video. Let's get draining right here. So right here guys, um, 17 millimeter. And you wanna go counterclockwise. So once the, the, the once the wrench is down, you want to push towards the tire, towards the passenger tire. So there you go. So once that's done right there, we are gonna just unscrew this. See right there. Oh, I dropped it, but I got it back right here. So we're gonna let the oil drain. You can see how black it is. So guys, um, I checked the washer. The washer is good. So in case your washer is bad, you might need to change it. Or you can look at it and say, oh, all right, I might have one more use. So next time when I'm getting oil, I might need to order a washer, but so far it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the car. So guys, right here. Tighten that up, that's good. And now right here is the oil, um, oil filter. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. So guys, um, you wanna use a uh, oil filter puller. So you wanna use a oil filter puller pliers. So there you go. So there you go, let that drain some and then you get another one. So guys, you wanna get your new oil filter, get some oil. You can get the oil from the, from the, um, from the, the oil you're gonna throw in the car and just wipe some on the, on the rubber to lubricate it. And also make sure you just wipe it down with a, with the oil or something. And then we're just gonna tighten this up. So guys, how this work now is you put the filter on once the rubber meet contact with the with the surface, 
like there you try to make a full turn or three quarter of a turn so guys um if you see right here we're tiny so this is the part where you want to um this is the part where you want to double check your work make sure this is tight make sure this is tight and also put back your service door or lower engine cover underneath the vehicle and then lower the car and work on top of the car to add oil in it so guys i know you guys always say hey you should put oil in the oil filter before you put it on no you don't all right so look at this the oil if you're doing an oil change if you're just changing the oil alone is 4.2 quart if you're changing the oil and a filter it's 4.4 quart if you change if you overall in the engine that means you take the engine apart change ring bearings everything so it's dry dry then it's five uh, 5.7 quart so just doing this alone changing the oil and filter that won't that won't drain the that won't take all the oil of the system so you're good the engine is never completely dry with you just changing the filter and the oil so you don't need to preload it so guys what you want to do after you put oil in the system you want to pull the drain pull, um the dipstick out wipe it off pull it back in make sure it's at the correct mark and then after that you can go ahead and start the vehicle so start the vehicle and um, let it run for a bit so I can fold the oil filter up and then you let it sit for like three minutes then you repeat that process. So that's going to be it for this one guys. Please go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Peace out. See you next time. And these oil, I know you guys always come there. Oh, you did a mess up job. That's how I see it. I didn't, I didn't mess that up. All right, peace out.